Hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Matt from remove-malware.com, and today, and for the next few days, I'll be making a series of videos on how to build a bootable antivirus or anti-malware disk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this disk can do a lot more than just uh, remove viruses. That's probably you know one percent of its functionality. Uh, this is a complicated process, no doubt about it. Uh, I, I will not be answering many technical questions on this. Uh, I'll forward those questions on to the ultimate boot CD for win.com forum. So let me go ahead and load up that site for you really quick. We're on my computer right now. This is not a virtual machine. This is the second time I've attempted to make this video because the first time my CD wouldn't build uh, due to some uh, service pack problems with Windows. So anyway, here is the website. And I'll try to make these uh, YouTube videos uh, high res too. Uh, good quality, whatever you want to call it. The website is ultimate, or not ultimate, it's ubcd4win.com. It's ultimate boot CD. If you have any questions, any really, really technical questions, and you want them answered right away, check out the, the uh, FAQ, the FAQ, and go ahead and uh, access their forum. I'm pretty sure they have a forum. Yeah, it's right down here. If I move this up, you can see that. It's a free forum. So. And they'll, they, it's updated daily. They'll answer, they'll answer any question. So, Okay, on to the whole process here. Uh, basically, when you load up ubcd4win.com, you can go to Downloads. And then when you go to Downloads, you'll be presented with a series of uh, download uh, mirrors. Uh, I downloaded mine uh, from Softpedia. When I click Softpedia, uh, click the download link. And I just chose the US mirror and downloaded it from there. So you'd save that file. I've already saved mine. And then uh, to install it, it's fairly uh, fairly easy to install. Um, I have mine right here. I'll go ahead and kind of run through a mock installation. Just click uh, OK. Select your language. Click Next. Accept the agreement. Here's a change log. Shows you version 3.22, what's changed in it. Uh, choose your installation path and then click next. Uh, it says at least 527 megabytes of free space is required. Um, I'll go ahead and install it to a temporary directory just so you can see the process. Uh, we'll just call this temp. UBCD and install. And you can see the um, the whole process as it's installing. So while, while this is installing, I have a lot to talk about here. Why do we use a bootable antivirus or anti-malware disk? Because your computer, your operating system is not loaded. You're booted it up into a virtual operating system that's running in RAM. And what that means, it allows you to scan your hard drive like, an, like it's an external hard drive. Malware, any form of malware, rootkits, anything besides a BIOS rootkit, uh, which I fear, those things must be horrible, but anything besides a BIOS rootkit, anything, adware, spyware, viruses, trojans, doesn't matter. It is all at your mercy. You can simply select a file and click delete. Which is also dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, you probably don't want to be doing this. But the cool thing about the CD is it has built-in uh, anti-vir from Avira, and it has built-in super anti-spyware, and uh, built-in hijack this, all kinds of uh, extra utilities. You can also add on unlimited amounts of plugins for all kinds of different functions. Uh, I use Ultimate Boot CD uh, for recovering registries, for fixing hard drives, for recovering data that's that's been 
I don't know, corrupted. I, I use it for a lot of different things. Um, this download is very large. It says Ultimate Boot CD for when uh, wants you to do an MD5 hash verification. Basically, wants to make sure that the download is okay. Um, I'll go ahead and hit yes. It says the MD5 hash verification has been successfully verified. So I have a good download. And then it's going to go through and uh, do some more checking. Um, let's see. What else can I say? I'm going to have a dedicated page on the blog for this video series. I'm also going to have dedicated notes on the blog, uh, you know, all on a single page. So I'll put a post out there so you guys can all see um, where that all that info is. Uh, once again, the blog is remove-malware.com. This is uh, my number one way of removing malware quickly, very, very quickly, very, very effectively. I don't care what it is, it's getting removed with this uh, bootable anti-malware disk. So all that uh, stuff about which antivirus is the best for removal and all that, it just it goes out the window because with this application, with this bootable anti-malware disk, you can load up many, many different kinds of uh, anti-malware programs and even use your own uh, your own intuition and delete files if you know what you're doing. Not to mention that if you're not sure about a file, you have internet connectivity with this bootable anti-malware disk. You can upload it to virus. You can upload it to uh, VirusTotal.com and uh, see if it's malicious or not and then get rid of it. So, um, what else was I going to say? Too much to talk about. Oh yeah, uh, this is only, obviously this is only for removal. Um, you need to have a bootable CD, a, a, a CD drive or a DVD drive. You need to know how to be able to burn a CD. Um, or DVD. Uh, I always recommend a CD if you can. Sometimes you'll get too many plugins, you'll need to go to a DVD. Um, for prevention, this is obviously not a preventative product. For prevention, for true prevention, um, the only true prevention you can get from malware is sandboxing technology. Whitelisting would be like my next choice, like uh, the drive centuries and the Prevex stuff. Um, but sandboxing from defense wall and sandboxy, uh, that's the only way to be 100% um, secure when you're browsing the internet. There are zero hour threats, zero minute threats now, zero day threats. There's too much malware for, com for community whitelisting and for uh, old style antivirus, you know, virus definition stuff. Forget about it. So, had to get that off my chest. Sandboxing, only way to go. Okay, some more stuff here. More prompts. Um, when you're done with uh, loading this, hang on, I need to check my time. All right, well, i got to start another video. I'm getting close to this 10-minute mark. I really, really wish YouTube would make me a partner. Anyway, I'll be right back.